deer tracks. You'll notice that the dogs don't wear collars. Titus doesn't need to wear a collar, he listens, but Shadow, we bought her a harness. Look, more deer tracks, fresh, fresh ones. And when we, when we got her, it didn't fit, <laughs> it was too big. So I really am just lazy now and I need to put it on her. But we walk in the woods, the chances of us running into people are about 2%. <laughs> I've lived here over 10 years and I've run into people a handful of times and they don't seem to chase animals. So anyways, let's go walk. Come on guys. <clears throat> Why don't you walk in front of me? You're like, no, mama, you're the leader. All right, come on, let's go. This is going to be a pretty boring video if you're not in it. There you go. It's like, this is like Facebook for dogs. You know, they read others' posts and then they make their own posts. So it is exercise, but it's also a little bit of mental stimulation as well. Sorry, I'm a little phlegmy. Probably should have did a voiceover, but I didn't. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. <clears throat> okay, so, hey, whenever you find standing water like this, never let your dogs drink it. It's probably common knowledge, but I don't know about you guys, but I lack a lot of common sense, so. All right, come on, guys, let's go this way. A lot of times I'll see deer in these woods, but it just depends um, <laughs> These guys are so loud you're gonna scare all the deer away. Come on can't walk in deer season. Do you see the ladder stand there? There's a couple of them in the woods here. Come on, let's go. Leave it. <clears throat> Leave it. <clears throat> you might be thinking, oh my gosh, aren't your dogs gonna run away? I can't get rid of her. <laughs> she, she just keeps following me. And Titus, Titus never wears a collar. He's always followed me. He's very clingy. And she is, uh, <clears throat> she lives up to her name. She is my shadow. But she is going to start wearing a harness very soon. Because she's getting to that age where she likes to test my boundaries. And that's always the fun part of having a puppy, isn't it? Come on, let's go. And I don't mean to like make anybody upset that loves these breeds, but Chihuahuas and Mastiffs are actually really stubborn breeds of dog. So while I love both breeds and probably gonna have them forever or as long as I can, um, just always do your research when you pick a breed of dog because they are all different. Dogs are not equal. They're not created equally. They're unique, just like people. And certain breeds were bred for certain reasons. So make sure that you know enough about training and that you are at that level of training that you can train the dog that you want. Some dogs are easygoing and easy to train. 
and some dogs aren't. I'm not a dog trainer by any means, but one thing that I know for a fact works really well, when you're introducing a new dog to the home, or you have two dogs that maybe don't get along very well, they're, they're new to each other and they're not sure of each other, is to just walk them together. You may want to walk them on a leash so you can control them better, but walking really strengthens that pack bond and uh, <clears throat> makes for a happier family, that's for sure. <clears throat> walking dogs is so good <laughs> for everyone. It's good for your cardiovascular system. It's good for circulation. It's good for the dog. <laughs> Dogs aren't meant to sit in the house all day, every day, forever. Um, even, like, quote-unquote lap dogs need to experience walking. <laughs> and people, sometimes people think that it's a small dog and they should pick them up all the time. You're not doing that dog any favors whatsoever. Unless it has some kind of <clears throat> medical condition, let the dog walk. Every healthy dog is capable of walking on its own, no matter what size it is. One thing I do want to point out though, large breed dogs, the giant breeds like Mastiff, the big ones, Great Danes, St. Bernards, the big guys, you know? Oh, I'm out of shape. You don't want to push them hard while they're growing because you can mess up their, their growth plates. Um, a walk like this is okay. Um, she's over 12 weeks now. <clears throat> when I first got her, we didn't walk. We only just started walking not long ago. And we started slow. Our normal walk is two miles. And it's on uneven ground. Part of it's uphill. So I started out quarter mile to see how she did a half a mile and then a mile and I didn't notice any <coughs> any issues she wasn't limping she wasn't painful nothing like that she does two miles like it's nothing and I get home and me and Titus are kind of like wiped and she's ready to go play and do more stuff so just wanted to put that out there <laughs> um you never want to push a giant breed puppy too hard because you can hurt them so just keep that in mind if you ever consider getting a giant breed okay so i'm going off the top of my head here i'll double check just to make sure i'm not giving you false information but chihuahuas are known to come from mexico um there is some debate whether or not they actually came from the, the Asian continent, but as far as we know, we're going to just say Mexico. Um, <clears throat> and <laughs> they were eaten a lot of the times. They were portable. They were easy to move and they were eaten. Um, and then once they kind of stopped doing that, they became more of a companion animal. English Mastiffs are one of the foundation Mollusser breeds, and they helped create <clears throat> other breeds of dogs like them, like um, Rottweilers and things like that. Um, Mastiffs were primarily used as guard dogs. They would guard castles. Well, this is a, they're very, both of them are very old breeds. You know, some breeds were created much, much uh, later than other breeds, but these two breeds are pretty old breeds. So, originally, Mastiffs were kind of aggressive, protective of their home, and that still stands true to this day. However, breeders have done a really good job of breeding kind of the more aggressive nature out of them. They are still protective, but they aren't going to rip your throat out <laughs> unless you're doing something wrong with your training. <laughs> but for the most part, they're very, they're very, they're fairly friendly once they get to know you, but they are protective. So keep that in mind. 
Chihuahuas are actually listed as one of the most aggressive breeds there are. People often think of aggression in dogs and they think of pit bulls, but actually Chihuahuas are the most aggressive. So that's something that you can work on with training and social, social socialization. Very, very important to socialize all dogs, but especially dogs that have those kinds of traits. Is this hard to watch? As I'm walking, I'm not standing still, and I don't know, hopefully the frame is not like making people nauseous. Sorry, I'm gonna shut up now and try to catch my breath. Oh, hi. <laughs> Did I play a joke on you? Oh, you guys are so good. You're such good babies. Okay, so we're coming to the end of our walk. Hopefully, I got some of the piss and vinegar out of shadow because, oh my gosh, this dog is just so much energy because she's a baby still. And I wouldn't, <clears throat> wouldn't say she's a baby anymore. I think she's like... I don't know, preteen, very much a questions authority. <laughs> Meanwhile, Titus is an adult. And uh, so it's a very, there, it's a very different energy level, very different dynamic. If you guys have any questions for me, I'm more than willing to answer. I don't know, I, I don't know a lot, right? I don't know much about things, but I do know a lot about dogs. It's like the one thing. Just let me have that one thing, okay? I don't know anything about cats. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand a lot of animals, but I really, really do kind of understand the dog's mind. And I think a lot of people do. All you have to do is just observe, you know? Just watch your dogs. Don't interact with them if it's not in a bad situation. If they're just playing or hanging out or or just communicating with each other. Just sit back and watch, and you'll learn a lot. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope this was interesting. I don't know. I had some people ask me to do more Christina Skiles <laughs> to do a dog video, walking the dogs and such, and I figured I'd add a little commentary so it's not so boring. Or maybe I made it even more boring, I don't know, but <laughs> I'm gonna end that there. Thank you guys so much for watching hanging out with us in nature. And until next time, you guys, I'll see ya. And so will they, maybe. Who knows? What are you doing, Otis? You being a weirdo? Give her the what for, Otis. Yeah, tell her off. <laughs>